on the Seaford Historical Society's website. That's Wright Robinson, the editor of the town's newspaper. Mr. Robinson's daughter joins us this afternoon. This is Sue Bramhall along with David Grants. He's the executive director of the Seaford Historical Society. Thank you both for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. I want to start with, with you, Sue. That was a long time ago. What's it like to see your father on that video? The first time I saw that video was about a year or so ago. And uh, when I, I went on Hagley, uh, site and it brought a lump to my throat uh, because that was my dad and to hear his voice was just overwhelming almost uh, and as a result of it uh, I still I write a column for the newspaper here uh, the star and I wrote in my column that week that everyone should at least uh, record their parents and grandparents uh, even for a short time so that they could hear uh hear them later yeah see he had a um he had a active role in seaford's history can you tell us a little bit about it absolutely uh my dad grew up here as a uh he was born on high street and uh, the main street in town his father and mother were both very active in the town and he began the seaford newspaper the seaford leader uh, in 34, the year I was born. And, and he plan. often referred to it as the paper was his child. Okay. And he when he finally news sold news. it, uh, he said, oh, this is like giving away my child. However, uh, they called him back to work uh, two or three times afterwards. So uh, yes, he did an awful lot for Seaford. Um, he even did something for the world. He came up with the idea when DuPonts came here, and you're going to be talking about the impact of DuPonts, um, High Street was impassable uh, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, parents would go grab their kids and say, no, no you can't cross the, high, the street. You can't. You, you'll be hit by the cars. Uh, it was bumper to bumper. And my father came up with the idea that when it got down, when High Street intersected with Market, and Market Street in those days was Route 13, uh, you should be able to make a right turn after stopping if nothing was coming on the left side. So he originated right turn on red. Oh, wow. So, absolutely, <laughs> yes. And he said that was, he said that and earning the distinction of selling the most Girl Scout cookies in one year were the highlights <laughs> of his career. Oh, that's wonderful. And now, David, that's just one video that we can find on the website. What else is there? Uh, there are, uh, there's a silent film that was made about the opening of the DuPont plant, which is also a, a link to the Hegley Museum site. Uh, and then we have some civic videos that I found, uh, essentially just uh, looking for videos that would kind of hit the arc of the town's history to the extent that we can. And we're, we're still looking. So if anybody has some films or videos that, uh, that we can uh, upload and link, we would be happy to have those and just make that another part of what we're doing. Uh, we're also working on digitizing the newspapers that are father worked on and so we're hoping within a few months we'll have those available too. So uh, Ms. Bramhall, your father passed away in 2003. What do you think he would think of Seaford today? In many respects I think he just would sit there and shake his head that he can't believe some of the things that are happening. In other uh, respects I think he would still be very very proud of Seaford. Uh, as he got older, he did not, of course, he moved away from High Street. Uh, he was born in a house that his father built uh, for his mother back in 1906, I think it was six or seven, because her father had said she could only marry him if he provided her with indoor plumbing. <laughs> and apparently the High Street house would do just that. Uh, and then we lived and I grew up living across the street from my grandfather and grandmother. So uh, a lot has happened. And as he grew older, he kept saying, oh, I wish I lived on, on High Street again. I would love to sit on that front porch. And um, then one time he wanted to go into the house because he said, I remember putting something in the rafters. I wonder if it's still there. 
So he still loves the town. He truly did it, everything about it. Well, thank you both for all you're doing to, to keep this history alive. And of course, we'll have a link with more information on our website, domarvalife.com. Sue Bramhall and David Grants, thank you so much.